Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Josh Heath Loop. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, post another video, just kind of showing again uh, my setup um, that I have here with the uh, uh, Cyclonic air oil separator, uh, which, as you can see, is right here. And then, of course, I have my catch, um, my catch container down here uh, that plums into the, the bottom side of that Cyclonic separator. And obviously, uh, the effluent from the crankcase vent comes through uh, to the separator here, is separated. Uh, liquids drain down the bottom, um, separate into the catch can there. And the clean air comes through the top, just like it does on a standard um, crankcase ventilation on a TDI, right back into the inlet of the uh, turbo. Now, as you can see, um, I've got a fitting coming into this elbow from the top of the valve cover. Uh, that line is actually uh, the, um, one of the sides of my, uh, my bleed from the lower intercooler. And in fact, let me go ahead and show you what that is. Basically what I did, uh, like I mentioned in the thread, um, just so I didn't have any issues with uh, oil um, building up in my lower intercooler, I went ahead and put a drain which is in the bottom of the intercooler, about where my finger is. Kind of hard to see. I really can't get under there. But there's actually a line um, that you might be able to see. Anyway, there's a line that connects to the bottom right-hand side of the intercooler. Probably one of the lower areas of the intercooler, since the intercooler sits at an angle. I uh, chose as close to the lowest spot as I can get. That way, any accumulated oil, even a small amount, will be... Uh, picked up by that little drain. It's about an eighth of an inch inside diameter tube and I have a little fitting that goes into an eighth inch MPT um, fitting, quick uh, disconnect fitting down there. Now that line comes up through the uh, fender area and actually is this line here that uh, it's actually a Teflon line, that whitish blue line right there. And that line, of course, continues on, and it enters into this wire loom right here, on up and around. It goes through the wire loom, kind of hidden, and you can see it. Uh, you can see it exit right here, and it goes underneath here, and you can you can follow that right on up and. Any air and oil that comes out of that line, actually, as you can see, as I showed you earlier, comes into this elbow. So basically what happens when you boost, a very small amount of air is bled from a lower intercooler, and it's bled directly through this line and empties into this elbow area and is carried with the regular crankcase vent gases into the separator and drops into my uh, collection container. Now I'm not sure if you can see it, but probably not very well, but there's actually a little bit of oil built up right in that line and uh, usually that line is actually tucked down underneath. In fact, I'll put it where it normally is. It usually sits down about like that out of the way. Uh, but a lot of times I look and I see just a little slug of oil uh, sitting in that line. So, you know, obviously just from keeping a close eye on it, it's definitely apparent that it is carrying a small amount of oil from the lower intercooler and depositing it right into this line. And, of course, and then it's filtered on out. So, you know, as I mentioned in my post earlier, there's two parts to this oil separation. Um, obviously the cyclonics... Uh, portion and the lower intercooler bleed. Now my lower intercooler bleed, I've not noticed any performance um, issues from the engine from having a very small metered amount of air drain from the lower intercooler so that there doesn't appear any any performance um, you know issues uh, from installing that so that, that worked out uh, quite nicely. Now the other day um, I actually went ahead and measured the amount of oil that was collected. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and uh, let me put this camera down real quick. Let me pull that off and measure it again. And I'll show you guys exactly how much 
I've collected. Now I've got about 6,500 miles um, on what's collected here and as you can see I've got my oil catch container here and I have a little very cheap Walmart graduated cylinder. Hopefully you guys can see the graduations on that but anyway I'll go ahead and pour that oil in here and see what we get. So like I said I measured this the other day couple days ago and it was right at about three quarters of an ounce. So let me pick that up and kind of hold it straight. Anyway, um, can't really see it very well, but this line right here where my fingernail is is actually one ounce. So it's a little bit below that. So I'm guessing in a 10,000 mile uh, interval, oil change interval, I'm anticipating with the current configuration of the system um, if it continues like it is, it's going to separate about an ounce of oil. Now, these lines are relatively short, and I've got a, a nice cover that goes on my engine that really helps to hold the heat inside that area, so I don't have as much condensation issues of uh, you know water uh, moisture being separated out from the crankcase ventilation. Um, area and dropping into my catch can. So some guys might say, hey, I get a lot more fluid separation than you do, um, but one thing to keep in mind is a lot of those guys have an elephant tube that's real long, and it cools those gases and separates out the you know, drops of the uh, water vapor as well, and that gets mixed into the total volume. Now, I spoke earlier about, um, you know, considering see obviously you can see when this container is hooked up that's the total volume that's the volume from my lower intercooler bleed plus what comes out uh, from the uh, crankcase vapors so that's the total volume now if I had a container like I do here and I put a separate container in series with this little bleed I would have my volume for my lower intercooler that I could uh, I could look at, and I would have the volume that's collected by the uh, crankcase, uh, the cyclonic um, CCV air oil separator. So that would kind of be an interesting diagnostic to uh, to be able to look at to get some good feedback on what's coming out of the lower intercooler versus what the cyclonic separator uh, pulls out. But so far, man, this thing is uh, this thing is just working great. I'm really pretty pleased at it. Um, I mentioned also earlier in my videos uh, about a week ago I took uh, my uh, rubber uh, P-shaped hose off here. Normally when I take this thing off um, I'll see a nice oil film on the inside and the last time I took it off that thing was just as dry as can be. So that's telling me that obviously uh, I'm not having near as much or hardly any oil come through uh, you know, this intake plumbing. And so that's a good thing, obviously. Uh, it, it won't mix with the um, EGR uh, particulates that are, uh, that are coming through. So, so far this thing is uh, working really well. And, I mean, from, from what I've seen, um, you know, I would, I would recommend uh, a setup like this. I mean, there's no need to spend $100 or whatever on some other type of system. Um, I went to Auto House AZ, and I think I gave, like, 30 uh, like 33 bucks or something for that separator which was from a BMW. Um, the hose I got, uh, I think it's three quarter idea I got from Napa. Um, you know that hosing probably cost maybe like 10 or 15 bucks for uh, a few feet of that. Um, the the uh, elbow right here, uh, that thing was probably about three or four bucks. But honestly, you don't have to go through the expense. I got the nice tubing that was uh, cloth covered just to help um, you know keep things looking uh, more stock. In fact, it looks pretty nice when I have it all buttoned up and so forth. So with my engine cover and all that, you know it, it has some you know, somewhat of a stock appearance. Eventually I'd like to figure out a different way to mount that, but for now that's just kind of hanging, hanging out and it keeps it nice and secure. But it doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, it's very functional and uh, I'm real pleased that it's, uh, it's worked really well. 
So anyway, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the lower intercooler bleed um, that has a quarter inch ID line that connects the lower intercooler to my elbow like I showed you on the top of the valve cover that uh, allows a very small, very small amount of air to bleed through there which carries any uh, oil that's accumulated out of the lower intercooler so obviously that helps to uh, eliminate or stop completely the possibility of, of uh, that engine running on any collected oil that, that may come up through that intake air. So I'm uh, pretty pleased that it's uh, working so well. And at least I know I don't have to worry about a, a runaway condition happening. And uh, I think it looks pretty good if I don't say so myself as far as the installation. It worked out pretty well. And I'm sure you guys are uh, real creative, so you guys could probably come up with something even better than I have. Um, but, you know, someone's got to uh, blaze a path a little bit here. So, anyway. All right. Enjoy. Catch you guys later. Bye.